for you to see change, you have to be in an uncomfortable situation. So if you're comfortable all the time, then change is almost unlikely. We're in Dominica right now, which is a country in the Caribbean islands. We're here to study social entrepreneurship. It's taking uh, the students to a small economy and showing them the challenges that the entrepreneurs face and how inherently in their projects and in their entrepreneurial activities there is a social uh, good that's part of that initiative. Getting the first-hand feel of how young people are willing to take that step now can be inspiring. To be honest, I was pretty nervous about meeting with all these different entrepreneurs because these people are actually doing business in the real world. I actually worked with Big G, who's just started a burgeoning hot sauce company. For that, he needs to have farmers to be able to grow the peppers that he needs. He has gotten a lot of his friends, actually, to grow peppers, because they all know together that if this succeeds, everyone succeeds. I never thought about sort of intertwining economic interests and social interests, but to find these businesses that make them integral to each other instead of competing was really great, and it's really, really important to uplift in the community and creating a sustainable economy. It's also important for them to get a sense of the culture. Being able to understand the way that people interact in their own society respective to ours, there's a lot of cultural differences and I think it's important to be sensitive to that. The island is very mountainous and it's almost 90% rainforest. It's not really your typical Caribbean island which has sand beaches and things like that. So they have a lot of waterfalls, hikes. We went to this part called the Valley of Desolation. It was really amazing to me to realize how much beauty that there is in Dominica. That's very valuable in terms of how important it is to protect the environment and provide for ourselves and provide for the generations to come. It's true that you know the people are not wealthy in terms of financial resources, but from the natural resources and the way of life, they're very rich. And, and that, I think, was great for the students to capture that as well.